Whoa! Gnarly. It's almost like I can reach out and touch you. Okay, enough of the shitty paper 3D glasses. Anyways, I'm shooting this little video to talk about the upcoming release of Transformers 3 Dark of the Moon. It's supposed to be released uh, next Wednesday. Um, I'm shooting this on Friday, June 24th. It's supposed to be released next Wednesday on June 29th. However, there is also a special preview night, which it takes place the uh, night before on June 28th. And there's a few showings then. Um, I know primarily it's at 9 p.m. and then also at midnight, which of course at midnight then it would actually be June 29th. So that's the official release date. But I've also seen some theaters um, that are going to have it at the 9 p.m. and 10 p.m. as well. So just check your local theater if you want to see it on the uh, special preview night. Um, I was talking with Spada online and he said that his local theater um, was not having a 9 p.m. showing. Which I thought was kind of odd because I thought that uh, all the theaters um, that were showing it were, were participating in the, uh, the 9 p.m. showing. So it doesn't look like uh, that happens to be the case though. Anyways, I'm going to head to Florida here on Monday, um, which is June 27th. So I'm going to be down in Orlando uh, during the time that Transformers 3 is released. I'm planning on going to, and I can't remember the name of the theater, uh, but there's a theater in Orlando that has an IMAX screen, and that's where I plan on going to see um, Dark of the Moon. I'm going to try and get, or at least this is my plan, I was thinking I was going to go in um, and see it at the 9 p.m. Um, on the preview night on the IMAX screen in 3D. Um, I don't, I haven't bought tickets online ahead of time. I went to the theater, and the theater, the theater themselves don't actually sell the tickets. Um, they're sold through Fandango and Fandango throws on um, their costs on top of the ticket price. And I've never actually used the Fandango service before. Um, I know my local theater here in town, um, you can actually buy tickets directly from them. Um, there is like a dollar surcharge or whatever. I don't know how much Fandango's is, but um, I haven't actually purchased these um, tickets yet. So I might not be able to get into the IMAX viewing of the movie. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know that I actually want to see it in IMAX. Um, I might just want to see it on the regular um, screen and just see it in 3D. Um, whichever way I see it, I am going to see it in 3D. Um, I don't even know. I'm assuming there's a, a version out there that's not going to be in 3D. Um, I haven't seen any movie that's just been released in 3D and not also in 2D as well. Um, but I am going to see it in, in 3D. So I'm planning on doing that, uh, again, on the preview night. Then I come back from Florida um, two days after that on Thursday, at which point I might see the movie again. Um, and then I plan on sitting down with Spada, and we're going to talk about and review the uh, Dark of the Moon movie. So uh, be on the lookout for some upcoming... Um, audio here on uh, tfwire.com. So if you're going out there, or if everyone out there is going to see the movie, uh, post your comments um, here in my little video. Let me know what you think it's going to be like. Do you think it's going to be good? Do you think it's going to be bad? Um, me personally, I'm pretty excited for the movie. Um, looking back, I was pretty excited for the first movie too. And coming out of, I went to the, the preview night um, for the very first movie as well. And coming out of it, I kind of had mixed feelings. Um, but over time, I've actually grown to um, really like that movie. Uh, Revenge of the Fallen, still not great. It's never going to be great. Um, but I can at least sit down and watch it. Um, it does have some enjoyable parts to it. Uh, but through everything I've seen of Dark of the Moon, through all the trailers, um, and like all, all the behind-the-scenes stuff um, that's been posted online, I'm pretty excited for this movie, so... I think it's going to be pretty good. Um, I know it's not going to make all the fans happy, but just based on the trailers, it looks like it's it's going to make me happy. So that's, <laughs> that's really all I can ask for. So again, let me know um, your thoughts about the movie, how you think it's going to do, like how much money you think it's going to pull in, whether you think it's going to be good or not, how it stacks up against the, the previous two movies. Let me know here in my uh, comments to this video. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and read them. So, till uh, we see the movie, this is Jesse signing off.